Hey guys, it's me again. We're just going into the sixth palace here on Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. When you first get down here, you'll hit a four-way intersection. There will be pea bags to the right and the left, and to continue in the palace, you go down. Uh, I'm only hitting that guy with a... Alright now. Jeez, some way to start. The way Link's legs look in the animation when he's repeatedly swinging a sword, it looks like he has some kind of... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say anything offensive, but it looks kind of like, you know, mentally weird. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Okay, alright, i already gone too far. This is a fairly easy room, just a couple of these things, and then the, uh, typical flying eyeball. There you go. <clears throat> and there's a P-Bag here, so we'll be grabbing that. I don't know, at the rate we're going, we might just hit 6,000 before the end of the palace, but getting the next 8,000 after that, not a chance. I mean, well, maybe, but <laughs> I don't know. I doubt it. I don't think I'm going to try for that, because you're going to get it at the end of the palace anyway, and, well, big difference between, well, I mean, the attack would make a difference fighting the boss, but, you know, I don't, these, these jumps can be made without the jump spell. But, just, I'm fed up with trying it, you know. Just don't want to mess around with that crap. You know, I've done enough of that throughout the game as it is, man. So we're gonna throw on some Reflect here for these little whiz robes in here. There's a couple of them. But the room is so big that sometimes they can be hard to find. Unless we forget, Reflect blocks that guy's hammers, so... Feel free to take advantage of that. Blue Iron Knuckle. There are a lot of blue iron knuckles in here, so you know, I don't want to use shield for every single one of them because they're all in a different room, so by the time I get to the next room, it's worn off. It's like, well, screw it. They only take four hits now, though, so that's not too bad. Once we get up to level eight, they'll take three. And the red iron knuckles at level eight will only take one hit, which is marvelous. There's actually monsters in Ganon's Tower, some of the first ones you see. You'll come in there with level 8 attack, and there's monsters in there that take 6 hits to kill. The first time I saw that, I thought it was just ridiculous. I'm like, what the heck? That's gotta be messed up. I got level 8 attack, and that thing takes 6 hits? You gotta be kidding me. Where am I? I must have taken a bad step. It's just a, you know, Ganon's Tower is not easy at all in this game. And, and that's, I, I'm not saying it's supposed to be, but boy, oh boy. But then again, there's a difference between something being challenging and something just being a pain in the ass. And those monsters are more just a pain in the ass than anything else. Okay, and another blue iron knuckle, and this one's in a bad spot. Like, when you back him up there, it's like the jumping and it gets messed up. So you're afraid you're gonna jump too high, and you're too close to him to jump really high. But if you jump and hit your head on the ceiling, you're too far away. Let's just do away with them and move on, man. Yeah, as I said before, I maintain the opinion that this palace is easier than five. I think I've said that like three times. I think I actually figured out the secret of these fireball things, too. Basically, you gotta jump between the first and second ones like that. That's all there is to it. Now, sometimes the second one will bounce off your shield, sometimes it won't, but that's how you do it. It's not 100% foolproof, but it's the best technique that I've seen, so... And I remember that's what I used to do, I just forgot, as I was playing around recently on it. Ooh. That jump can be tricky, but... Now in this room, there's actually an invisible hole in the floor, so what you gotta do is watch for the third statue. That's number one right there. That's two. And that's three. Now on the floor next to the statue, the second brick over is the last bit of floor that you can walk on. The next four bricks after that, it's a hole. So, you gotta make sure you jump soon enough and far enough to get to the other side of it so you can get what's over here. Which is none other than the cross. But first, we have an iron knuckle on a horse. That's right, a mini boss. First of these that we've seen. <laughs> Why are you so mini? <laughs> mini. Oh, no. Oh. 
there's actually, I believe, another one a little bit later, but well, I actually think there's three of them in here, but I don't remember. There might only be two. Ugh. Thank you. Darn it. That's what I meant earlier when I said I wanted the horse off the screen. As long as he's on the screen. Well, shoot, I did that. Hell, easy. As long as the horse is on the screen, there's too many, you know, sprites, and it's gonna cause him to blink, and you can't see what he's... his projectiles. There's the cross. Rock and roll. Link looks like such a cute little upstanding Christian when he holds that thing up like that. You know, I used to actually, you know, the closest brush I've ever had with homo... Oh, what is it called? Home? It's not homophobia, it's homosexuality. It's like, when I was about 12, I think I had sort of a mini crush on Link. And I'm not gay, I never have been. The closest I ever have been was Link, basically, and that's just a cartoon anyway, so... Counts as anything serious, but it's like when I used to, like my sister and I used to role play. We used to pretend to be Link and Zelda, and I remember like one time I was, I was playing Link and I had to defeat Ganon to save my sister, you know, from Ganon. And like the, basically what I, what we used for Ganon was the fireplace. So I'd get my sword and I'd go up there and I'd hit the top of the mantle with the sword, and that would be like hitting Ganon, but. It ain't, and I don't really, I don't know, it's kind of embarrassing almost, you know, maybe I shouldn't talk about this anymore, but, like, when I would, like, you know, get dressed as Link, it's like, you know, it's, I mean, you know, obviously going out and doing a long quest where you're running around and fighting and being physically active, it's not exactly, you know, long sleeves are not exactly comfortable for something like that, and you know how people are about being uncomfortable and the whole torture thing and all that shit, you know. I don't even know why I've talked about it for this long. I'm, I swear to God, I'm doing this thing over. If I don't shut up about it. If you don't shut up about it, I'll start talking to myself in the third person here. Uh, it's not like any... I, I don't think anybody who's watching this is that judgmental anyway, but... As far as that goes, I don't know. Ugh. Oh. Look, see, now, now I got the, you know, now I got, like, a cat's got my tongue now that I've been sitting there talking about that. You know how I know that you're gay? Uh, you like the movie Made in Manhattan? You know I know you're gay? How? I saw you make a spinach dip in a loaf of sourdough bread once. You know how I know that you're gay? How? Oh. You have a rainbow bumper sticker on your card that says, I love it when balls are in my face. That's gay? We're just gonna get out of here. I have no need to even fight any monsters anymore because I know I'm gonna get the experience from the statue at the end. So I have no more levels to build. The thing is, after you get the 8,000 experience and you increase your attack level, you'll actually continue to gain experience, and for every 9,999 you get, you get a free life, a one-up, basically. So there is that to look forward to if you're... Well, I mean, I like that. I mean, I don't think I've ever actually picked one up that way, but... Maybe. Just once I get to Ganon's Tower, I just stop fighting altogether. There's actually, since I didn't mention it, there's four levels here, and you want to get down to the third one. You were originally on the first one. The pea bags were to the left on the sort second and fourth levels, and then this is to the third. To the right on the third one. Let's see if we can. See, I don't even need to fight this thing, that's what I keep thinking. See how I didn't get the experience for him? It's because I walked off the screen too fast. Now, this room right here may just be the hardest room in the palace, because you get your ass knocked right into that lava. Oof, see that? If not for that little brick standing up there, I would have fallen into the lava. And I would have been dead. And that would not have been fun. Oh, you know what? I actually got my, um, my economic stimulus check came in today. It came in at the same time as the letter that told me when it was going to be here, so <laughs> go figure. Of course, I only check my mail, like, once every three days anyway, so that's probably why. But, um, yeah, I decided not to cast Reflect there, because I want to save my magic for other things, and I don't need the experience, so as long as I can block those without Reflect, I'm just going to do that. Um, yeah, but I got my $600 check-in today. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and stop here, because, uh, yeah, because I feel like it. Because we're up to nine minutes. Bye.